Everyone, please say hello to the original copies of The Travels of Marco Polo. My theory after much research is that Marco did not release the entirety of his book to be published. The Travels of Marco Polo claim that Marco ruled as governor over the city of Yangzhou for three years. Are you saying that Marco Polo used an artifact to force the largest empire in the world to, what, make him a mayor? This writing, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. What would you need in order to translate this? Another book from the era of this one. Didn't you say Edward collected old things like us? What if he had a copy of Rush's books? But what about getting into his home? Edward is hosting an auction ball this weekend. The books, they themselves are artifacts. What's this? It's written by Marco Polo. The books, they're gone. Edward has the Magellan's compass. He was able to just swoop in and take them. What about Marco's letter? Did he take that too? What letter? This letter. Then we still have a chance to get there before Edward. Translate Marco's letter. If you have read, read my published novel, you expect tales of wonderful treasures within these pages. I did not find such things in the East. Instead, I found a single ring. A ring I gave my wife, Rastachella, when we married in that atrocious Genoan prison. A ring she swore she would wear and keep until the day she died. But now that day has come, and I cannot bear for her to part with the ring she loved so dearly. So I leave it here, with her, until someone wishes to use Rastachella's ring in the way I never fully understood. Marco, Marco Polo, 17 August, August 1299. I don't understand. There was never Rastachella, it was always Rastachella. She used a man's name so her books would sell. No one would deliberately buy a book written by a woman. Okay, but what about that last line? Someone wishes... To use Rester Child's ring in the ways I never fully understood. The ring is the artifact. So the things Marco never fully understood was the ring's artifactual abilities. Mind control. But how did Russ uh Russ Rester Chella? Yeah. How did she die? Other historical documents mention that Marco escaped from a Genoan prison around the time that that letter is dated. My theory is Rastachella was injured during their escape and died shortly thereafter. What's this? Your guess is as good as mine. No matter what language I tried, it never translated into anything comprehensible. What if... The letters didn't stand for a language, but a code. And I think I can crack it. I got it, I think. But I still have no idea what that means. May I see? What? Longitude and latitude. Coordinates on a map. If you think of these numbers while you activate the Earth's maze, you'll practically be standing on top of our artifact. Wesley, I... I had a nightmare last night. I'm gonna find Rusty's ring. Then I'm coming with you. 
No, you're not. You're in no condition to search for artifacts. We'll just have to wait a day or so for the remains of the poison to leave your system. But we don't have that kind of time. Edward might already have the ring. Then it seems you ought to go alone. But what about Victoria? Can't she come with me? If Wesley's condition worsens, I'm sorry, Lilac. I can't. I am not ready. Lilac, you're far more ready than I ever was. Your sheer cunning and downright foolish bravery will see you through. Trust yourself. Your gift. Just do your best. It's all we can ever do. Okay. I think it's time for me to finally go find my third ever artifact. Is it though? Your third, I mean. I'm not entirely sure that second one counted. Oh, it counted. Here, take these. Do these explode? In fact, they do. They were designed by a Japanese samurai as a way to distract and confuse the enemies, roughly called Bakuhatsu. Best of luck, Lila. Do be safe. Trust your gift, my heart. I will. And, uh, do try to come back in one piece, why don't you? My father would be distraught if anything happened to you. Your father or you? Uh, both of us, I'm sure. Do you really think she's ready? If she has to fight Edward. There's nothing we can do now. Translated the entirety of Emilio's travels, and I knew nothing more of Paul's artifact. There has to be something more! The girl, Lilac, she's gone. To find Polo's artifact, no doubt. What do you know, Thorington? Edward, don't hurt him. The books, they are artifacts as well. What did you find, my love? What is it you're not telling me? I really hoped it wouldn't have to come to this. But I never wanted to do this in front of you, Victoria. But if I must... Come! Come now, Edward! You don't need to do this. Leave us be and go find some other bloody treasure. There is no other treasure! And to think I once looked up to you, Clorington. But you never could stand me, could you? So you found a way to get rid of me. Well, how did that turn out for you? Please, Edward, let him go. You found something that has led Lilac to Polo's artifact. Give me what you know, and I vow upon my life I will never again hurt your brother. That artifact is worth far more than the sum of his misdeeds. My offer still stands, Victoria. What now? Without the mate, there's nothing we can do. I suppose we'll just have to pray Lilac finds the ring before Edward does. Oh, crap! Now what? No Wesley? No clues? And no buzzing. Trust your gift, Lila. My gift. Why is... Why is this place so familiar? Such a gift got you, just like with the chalice.
More tea? Uh, no, thank you. What are you doing? Reading. It helps me when I'm stressed. <laughs> it's far better than your tea, Jocelyn. What is this, your third cup this hour? You remind me of how mother was. Be glad it's tea. I have to focus. The ring can't be far. Finally. He has the ring. How long was I out for? Ah! Dratted compass. What the? You're too late, Lilac. I found Ristachella's ring first. Give me the ring, Lilac. You're missing your own redder, your protective necklace. You left it, undoubtedly to track Rester Chell's ring. Clever. Your gift is strong, Lilac, but raw, untamed. It's taking all the strength you have to fight the pain seeping through your body like a raging current. You can't stand being near such a powerful artifact. Your body's tearing itself apart. I... I won't let you have this ring, Edward. You'll just... sell it. Do you know what terrible things could be done with this ring? The person you sell it to could use it to harm. Enslave. Is that what this is about? You wish to be a savior? The reasons I seek that ring are far more important than you can grasp. However, I guess the only way I'll get that ring is if I take it from you. So come and get it. You have bold ambitions, Lilac. Give me back the ring. You don't understand. I need the ring. Sure, and I'm King George. Give me the ring, Lilac. I need it more than you can understand. For what, a nice juicy profit? No, I need to save myself. <laughs> Then you've been searching for the wrong artifact. Rella's ring controls minds. Well, so you have been led to believe. However, you have not read directly from Emilion's travels. How else would you explain Marco becoming a governor in the Mongol Empire? <laughs> Mind control? Is that really what dear Victoria thought? Then she never asked herself why. Marco would go to the most powerful man in the world and command himself to become a feeble governor. I know if I held that kind of power, the power to control minds, I would have taken Kupa Khan's throne for myself. Marco was a humble man. He never intended to publish his writings. That was his wife Rastachello's idea. When he went to Kupa Khan, he never intended to take a role in the Mongolian government. No. He just wished to help a man's dying son. The ring doesn't control minds, it heals. Or so Polo has written. Marco healed Kubla's son, so as a reward he made him governor. Yes. Lilac, trust me, I beg of you. 
give me the ring. You don't know what it's like to lose control of this. Turning into something unhuman. Of all the artifacts I've collected, all the research I've done, this is the only artifact in the known world that can cure me. I wish nothing more than to be reunited with my beloved Victoria. And the only thing keeping me from her is this cursed disease. Neither have I seen my brother nor my sister in years. Please, Lilac, give me the ring. It's been too long. I'm going after her. Wesley, you are not giving her enough credit. If Edward finds her, she won't stand a chance against him. She needs help. My help. Wesley, I realize you have feelings for Lilac, but you're in no condition to go after her. And even if you were healthy enough, she's thousands of miles away and you're without the Earth's maze. I feel useless like this. And now you know how I always feel. <laughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Never better. What happened? I gave him the ring. Victoria, my love, I'm afraid I cannot stay. Marco's ring is powerful, but not enough. Last night, I fought the beast within, and for a time, I thought I had it vanquished. I did not. While well, I am far more human than before, the beast still dwells within. So, despite how desperately I wished to stay with you, I left before I lost control of myself. I must find other ways of becoming human again. Please, I beg of you, don't search for me. I don't need you hurt because of me. All the terrible things I've done. I don't deserve your love. Give Lilac my thanks. Tell Wesley the past is erased. I'm so very sorry, my love. Yours forever, Edward Gray. Wesley? Yes? Have you ever had a dream right before you found an artifact when you're awake? A dream while you're awake? No, never. It's always happened when I'm asleep. The day before I find an artifact. Did you? Right before I found Resta's ring. The dream was different though. Normally I can remember most things from my dreams, but this time, nothing. <laughs> well, mostly. I'll have to speak with Victoria about it. If it's happened to anyone with the gift before, she'll more than likely know. The things you saw, have they happened yet? Not that I know of. If Victoria can't help us, Edward could. He has much experience with the gift, but he's gone. I know. He left this beside my bed. He's changed. He's not human, but compared to the last time I saw him, he's far less than an animal. I think you gave him hope. Hope that he can be normal again, someday. There's got to be something else we can do for him. Maybe an artifact somewhere, somehow. And we're going to find it. <laughs> <laughs>